Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Happy 4th of June, everybody. Um, we are on flowers again. Uh, this is the order that Megan popped them in, and we are doing. Is it lavender? It is lavender. So we are doing lavender today. I am using another one of the zesty trays from October of 21. This is one of the colours that I am itching to get again. Um, so I either need to find a new supplier of it or have the supplier ship into the UK again. I'm also using a black pen. This is one of the ones that is available in our shop. It's a little bit thinner um, than the thick acrylic pens and it's a metal one. It does fit our metal tips, so there is a slight gap. I'm not even sure if you can see that. There is a slight gap because the pen tip doesn't quite push in the full way, but it is definitely close enough and it fits and works fine as you'll see because I'm working on it today. It does have a newish glue dot in it so we're going to see how it goes and I've got quite a bit of purple in this so I am thinking of bringing some ABs in on the purple today. So let's get that in shot and I'm going to start with this green at the bottom, get some of the greens done and then I'll move on and bring in, I'm not going to bring in a lot of ABs, I think I'm just going to bring them in in the bow and then maybe this very pale lilac that scatters um, throughout the lavender, I'm going to bring some in that way but not put more in the flowers mainly do it in the bow is my thought. As soon as I saw the picture of the completed one on Paint Gems website, I before I was even able to check any potential DMC codes, uh, which I had a quick look before starting this video and I do have um, the DMC codes or at least one of the DMC codes that I want, which is this pale one that scatters throughout. And then the rest I want to do uh, in the purples. So it'll be nice to get some ABs. Oh, we've got two stuck together, so let's get rid of that now. So I have got a fresh glue dot in this one, so I might just snip off a little bit because it did give me problems last time so I'll just snip off that extra now and save the problems dab it on the back of my hand just to help loosen the stickiness a little bit it takes it does take a little bit to bed in a glue dot and to get it to its ultimate nice position but when you get there, you can get days, weeks, if not even months out of the glue dot. It's just because I'm working with quite a lot of pens that I have changed to metal tips and not yet been able to use since I changed them. So I think there's a, there's a few new glue dots in my future. One of my lists to hopefully do over the next couple of days as well is make sure that I get my pens all organised properly. I have, I have two of the pen boxes now and I want to make sure that I get labelled up where I got all of the pens from. I might even label the trays to say what month we released each tray and what colour we released so that I can say when it's from. I think I only remember that these were October because we did a set of three to match Zesty Wolf last year. So it's easy to say these are October's trays because it was quite a big event and we had to do quite a bit of planning and preparation for it beforehand because uh, we were printing three colours of trays at once 
or for one release. We often have to prep quite a bit for that, though we have more printers now. So, but when we do something a little bit more out of the norm or release a colour that's not got a limit on it, for example, the purple, we do have to do quite a bit of prep beforehand to make sure we can keep up with demand. Um, and yeah, hence I remember what colour October's was and how long ago, you know, exactly when it was. But I think I might label the bottom of all my other trays so that I can just have a quick look at the bottom and let you guys know when the trays were released. Um, but yeah. So, comments, comments, questions. I am now on the comments from the beginning of the June waffle. So a lot of these comments, well, most of these comments, in fact, probably all of these comments will be from the 1st of June. Uh, I think it was close to 50 comments that were left on the 1st of June. And I definitely don't get through 50 comments when I'm diamond painting during a whip and chat. So that's why sometimes I end up a little bit behind that and I waffle. But that's the nature of it, isn't it? I'm trying to move that one, and that one seems to be happy to move everywhere. So let's get it in the right position and then give it a little push down to make sure that it's stuck. Poured glue does allow you to move the diamonds a little bit more than double sided tape. And I do place my diamonds quite lightly. I am more of a light diamond placer. Um, I would prefer to do that to allow me to move things and slide things about a little bit and then potentially, you know, roll over it with a rolling pin or I've got a little, a little roller. I prefer to go over it with that roller or the rolling pin once it's done um, to make it set into the glue a little bit more. Uh, but Anne Smith was the first comment on the 1st of June. She said, here we go. And yes, we are getting into it. Not quite hit enough days to form a habit. But there's still a lot of people able to join in June Waffle. Some people have to take days of break some days due to, you know, plans or things that crop up. But that's all fine. The idea is that, you know, the intent is there as much as you can. And if something crops up or something happens, well, life happens. Roll with it. Roll with the day. Uh, Lynn loves diamond painting. She says she's so excited. She's using the same pen for this month's waffle. So the, the pen I used on the 1st of June was our limited edition green pen which we do, do still have a few of those available uh, we tend to have a bit more stock of the pens than we can necessarily print of the tray mainly due to the fact that we don't manufacture those uh, and they don't take three hours each to do um, <clears throat> the life of katie says woohoo it's begun I love June Waffle, I love it too. And then All Things Crafty by Kaz said, she's not doing one, but she's doing two 30 by 40s. Uh, one is a mystery diamond painting from Ever Moments, and the other is from Hua Can, uh, that she's had in her stash for ages. Uh, it's the B in round. Oh, is that like the B that I did a comparison on, I think, round versus square on a B painting? Um, I think I got mine from Hua Can because they do offer both round and square. But yeah, it's good to do that. If you've got the time to do either a couple of sections or to do a bigger section on a painting, so to divide a 30 by 40 into 15 squares instead of 30, 
and that's a comfortable amount for you to do. Then I like the idea of mixing it up with maybe an, uh, an older picture from your stash alongside maybe a newer picture that you've more recently got that you're quite excited to do because then you still you still get the enjoyment of diamond painting but you get some of your older stash completed as well which is always good right we do have a scattering of green in the lavender but they're all the paler colors of the two Darcy Foster, she said, we understand about being unorganised. She says, you are getting over an illness. Take your time. Uh, she started last night. She said hers is divided into four rows, which gives her a row a week. So she's doing a row a week because then she won't feel bad if she's unable to work on it for a day. I like that idea of having a row a week because there are some days that you can devote more time to a hobby than others um, especially you know if dependent on your job role or your job hours even can, can often you know determine how much time you may have so I like the fact of dividing it into a week and sometimes you might not be able to get any done for a few days but then you may have a day where you can do a lot more and you've still accomplished the same thing by the end of the month. I like that idea. Um, I'm a little bit more organised. Facebook is, I have scheduled posts on Facebook for each evening so that it will go up each evening the night before, uh, UK time the night before. So it will be available for Australians if they decide to do their paintings in the morning. Oh, and I've just realised I have missed three letter Ds. So let's see if I can dive into the pot. Sometimes this works and sometimes it picks up too many because it's a new glue dot. I've picked up two there. Let's, let's get the one gone that's upside down. Try and get that in the right way. Okay, so in relation to purples and ABs, I'm just going to take off my ring what I have in purple. I actually have four purples. So I have 208, I have a few 3835, I have some 210 and I have some 211. So they're the colours I have. I'm pretty sure it's 210 or 211 that is the paler one. Okay, they're not all sitting on my easel that nice. There's not a very big gap on my easel to be able to sit them on. Okay, so let's put them to the side of me and I'm going to go through each colour. I did check, say the symbol N is 211, which I do have. But let's check the others. So let's go for Q first, which is 208. I do have 208. So, oh. I prop them over a different side and promptly drop them on the floor. So 208, which is Q, and it Q does only appear down here. It doesn't appear in the lavender, but it's more the bow I want to highlight than the flower. So let's tip some 208, of which I have loads of these. So I think I've had these from Diamond Art Studio as well as potentially from some other kits. But if I've got a full bag, it will have come from Diamond Art Studio, UK. So let's pop in some ABs here. This will be quite nice as well, because even if I've only got the letter N, I will have a highlight of <coughs> ABs round the whole bow. Um, 
Okay, Sarah Jane. She says she loved the bluebell. Um, she said she's glad that I'm back and she's doing a larger tiger and a smaller 30 by 40 each day along with me. Um, she saw the video the other day of when I unboxed the flamingos as she's still going through older videos and liking them as she watches them, which means she knows which ones she's seen or not. That is a good idea, people, because liking videos helps me as well. So ensure that you like any video of mine that you watch and that will also let you know if anything happens, well, anything happens in relation to me not being able to post any videos for a few days or if you have a bit more time and maybe, you know, you want to carry on watching videos but you have you have more time and the videos finished then that will be an ideal way to one help support the channel which is always good you know don't ask for any monetary contribution to the channel unless you want to give it um, and if you do you can pop that in through by buying me a coffee which is linked on at the bottom of my website um, but if you want to help support the channel in another way, then hitting that like button is the perfect way. Okay, P is 209, so I'm going to do P in the normal diamonds. I don't have a 209 in a, I do have 210, but I'm going to stick with just having a scattering of ABs and not full blown um, so yeah thank you so much Sarah Jane Bob and a little like on them I know there is there is somebody else who is also watching some previous videos um, she puts a little emoji in the comments when she's seen a video which is sweet um, it's just sort of lets me know that people are still interested in some videos also reminds me of some of the older videos um, there's a few that I would love to do again slash do a, a more updated version of some videos um, and it lets me know what people do enjoy watching so it's, I'm very very grateful for that. Um, the Cat Lady she says having been away in Wales she needs to finish a painting that she started last month but once she's finished that, she's going to start another one to do in June. Or she might just have two on the go. There's an idea, she said. Uh, she's using her purple tray too. It tends to be her go-to choice at the moment. And it is usually the zesty tray that she goes for. Do tend to favour a size. A lot of the time, it, it really does depend what painting I'm doing. Uh, I'm on 550 now and I don't have this one in an AB um, but that's fine because this is quite a dark colour and I don't think the ABs while while I've got some in the darker colour they don't always look as good because the AB coating lightens them too much. So I think I'm happy with the fact that I've got a little bit round here and then I'm going to have a little bit round here to highlight the bows. And that will be enough ABs for me. Worked out really well for this one. So these ends, so this top part here will be an AB, so that will highlight all the bow. And then there is a little scattering of the very light ones which will highlight the lavender but not too much. Um, yeah, I love using the zesty trays when it comes to these small ones. I don't know if it's just because small tray, small painting. Uh, but when I'm doing my bigger paintings, I get drawn to the larger trays. I find it just as easy to work on either of them. But especially if I've got a big block of colour, I much prefer using the large tray, larger tray, 
There's not much between the two of them, uh, but I do really enjoy using the larger tray because I can fit more diamonds in it. So when I'm doing a big, big block of colour, I don't have to refill as much. Especially with the white in my flamingos. Um, Kim, she said, uh, so happy June is here. She said you could number your paintings with a sticker and your decision wheel could pick your painting. Oh, why did I not recognise that comment right at the beginning? That, that would have been a good idea. Um, I have done a decision wheel and gone through and got... Oh, sorry, I've just thrown diamonds all over my desk. The tray slipped out of my hand while it was still on the easel. Um, yeah, I did go through a decision wheel and put and put the decision in the Facebook posts ready to go up each night if anybody wanted me to select it. I'm just picking up a few of the diamonds off the rug. I'm not panicking over them all, but I'll pick the few that shout at me because I just tip them all over my desk. But I've got them all now, I think. Just a few on my easel. And we can get back to today's today's whip and chat. It happens to us all. Just having to move my light pad over a bit so that I can get to the diamonds. Okay. Oh, mini reset. Right, letter N, 211. So let me get my ABs 211. I don't have too many but I think there'll be enough. So these will be left over from a painting of some sort. That's the way that I get all these other smaller amounts. Um, yeah, Megan has mixed them all up now, but I do like that idea. If I'm doing, I like that idea even when I'm just doing the mini kits, when I kit up the other ones that I've got. Maybe it'll help me decide which one to do. Because sometimes I do go through and sort of pick a painting I like to do. And sometimes I just go by whatever order the stack's in. Oh, see, look, got pretty ABs on the bow. I'd have to go on Facebook to find out which one I'd picked for me each day. Before I could uh, do the video and I'd probably forget half the time. So I'm going to work on my stack for now. But I like that idea. If anybody else is doing the mini paintings and potentially wants to um, join in with, with the option that's been picked, feel free to number up your paintings and use that as your decision to which one you're going to do each day. The option's there. Uh, Leanne. She said she's going through a day two of COVID at the moment. Um, she says your sharing experience helps her to feel not so alone with it. Uh, the hardest part from, for her is separating from her three-year-old grandson who can't understand why he's locked out of her room. Oh, bless. Well, make sure you keep make sure that you keep doing your testing, Leanne. If you've got the rapid flow test, lateral flow test, whatever they're called in your country, um, make sure that you're doing them from the likes of day five. I think it is. If you get one on day five and day six, at least the UK government says that you, if you've got a clear test on those days, then you're clear which means you're not going to pass it on to somebody, even if you still don't feel too good. I think mine did actually take till about day 10 before it showed as clear. Um, and then I seem to be more suffering with, you know, the, the tiredness and stuff, the fatigue and things like that more than anything else. But you rest up. Diamond paint your life away because I'm sure the three-year-old won't want your diamond painting when he's allowed in your room. 
So you diamond paint your time away um, and get and get your grandson to uh, make a list of things he wants to do once you're free. Once you're free of your room and are allowed out. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can get the ABs back in there. I've still got quite a few ABs. It actually doesn't take that many diamonds. And these bags do hold thousands. So, right, I'm going to put those. ABs have gone away. Even if I've got the colour now, um, I'm happy with the amount of ABs that I have on here. What do I want next? K. K, K. It is probably going to be a longer video tomorrow, by the way. It's not a partial painting that's been picked for tomorrow. I would have I would have wondered how well she actually did mix them up if it picked flowers three days on the run. Um, Raven says, happy 1st of June. She's been looking forward to this all day. Uh, really enjoy your whip and chats. Well, you can get your fill of whip and chats for June. Raven, one a day, coming at you. Um, there is the odd time that there will be a second video in a day. Uh, mainly Fan Cells Friday does still go on. Um, so yesterday Fan Cells Friday went up. I actually scheduled it to go up a couple of hours before my whip and chat. <coughs> Just, you know, people can choose to watch them both together or they can watch one video and then watch the other one later on. And... Um, Today it's shop launch items, which will be coming prob probably shortly after this video. It will depend because in relation to the not as organised for June waffle, um, I still have yet to take the pictures for the website for the new items. They're here. Uh, and they have been prepped, or most of them have been prepped. Um, but yeah, website photos I have not yet done. So the video will probably be after this one. And that will announce the new colours for June. Colours of trays and we have some other items in there that people have asked for as well. Um, and we do have a new pen, which I will have to use for tomorrow's waffle. Just partly because it's new and partly because it's a little plug um, as to what's to come. Yeah, I'll have to use one of the new trays tomorrow with the new pen. Oh, I thought I had another colour then and I don't. I think I've got them all. No, I've not. Am I on K? I am. This is why I leave the lids of my tubs open to check if I forget what letter I'm doing. Okay, now I'm done. And I need to scroll up for the next comment. So let me just pop some of 340 in my tray. Ready for the L. And I'm not too worried about getting all of I could keep going and get more of them straight in the tray, but I think I've tipped out far too many than I need. So I'm not worried about that. Um, Lady Dax, she said, thank you, Rebecca, for doing these um, waffles. She says, and she's so pleased that I'm feeling better. Thank you. Uh, she said, can she give a shout out to the Facebook group too? Um, she said, they are so supportive, which they are. They're amazing. Um, she's decided to do a custom photo of her late husband, hubby, for the June waffle. She started it last August but did find it too emotional, so she popped it away. Um, the group has given me so much encouragement, she said today, 
that she's done two sections. Awesome news. I know it's one that you really, really want to do. But at the same point, you do need to listen to yourself if it's too much to do. Um, but the group will will support you whichever way you feel you need to go. And yeah, I, I, I it would be nice if you if you you know if it was done. I think it would be nice for you um, to have it done. But if it gets too much, don't forget that's allowed too. Um, and there are a lot of comments as well in reply to Lady Dax on YouTube as well. So thank you to all of you guys for supporting um, her in her emotional journey for the June waffle um, with what I'm sure will turn out to be an amazing picture. Uh, Liz Johnson has said it's her first June waffle and she is loving it. She's also using the purple tray. Coincidence, she said, not planned. And she's finished her section on her painting at the same time. Timing, it will work some days and it will go down the pan on others. Uh, I know my videos so far have already been completely different lengths. It does seem to have taken me a little bit less on the partials, which I do sort of expect. I get more partial paintings in a mini set. So I did expect them to be quicker because the images, they, they seem to be roughly determined by the amount of diamonds as to how many of the images are in each set. I don't know exactly how Paint Gem worked out how many they were going to do. I've, I've definitely not been a part of that and I am not privy to that information. Um, but it seems to me as though the partials you get more paintings because there's less diamonds per image. So to me, that means it's likely to be done quicker. But sometimes it really does depend on the amount of changes of colours as well, which can vary from image to image. Because this one doesn't seem to have had lots of diamonds, that, lots of colours that I'm only placing one or two. I see while they're scattered... They're a lot of the same colour, so I have. I think this one's going to be quite a quick one. But tomorrow's um, is definitely going to be longer because there's more diamonds. That's for sure. Um, I'm not sure if there's more numbers of more colour changes as well, which is what takes a while. We shall see trying not to look at it too much because I then I still get that you know that little bit of stuff I don't know when it comes to actually put, putting it together and doing the painting itself as I'm finishing up each piece of lavender here I am just checking that all the diamonds are, are lined up and looking nice in each one so that I'm happy with it uh, Debbie said glad you're back and feeling better she said her granddaughter is now into diamond painting as well um, as her mum and they have been watching some of your videos woohoo shout out to Debbie's granddaughter and daughter is it daughter or daughter-in-law maybe uh, to her granddaughter and her granddaughter's mum. Maybe that'll cover it. <laughs> um, anyway, welcome. Um, if you are watching today's video, it's so nice to be able to have other family members that enjoy doing it. That is one thing. I do know a couple of people that like to diamond paint. There are a few people that I've got doing it. Um, they don't do it as much as me, though. So we've not quite got to the stage where we organise an afternoon get-together where we just diamond paint together. 
it's it's not got to that level because they just enjoy it every now and then they're not as addicted as I am but hey uh, Joe says happy 1st of June Rebecca she says glad you're feeling better hoping and praying for your continued and complete recovery thank you Joe uh, she's still catching up on videos I think it is Joe that I have seen going through uh, leaving little little love hearts and emojis as she goes um but she didn't want to delay the June's videos she finished today's section earlier so she just had a snack while she was watching uh, and she guesses that her dog wanted to join in or just wanted to be near her snack one or the other uh, so they're now cuddling in her chair watching the start of June Waffle. Awesome. Say hello to Doggy. Doggo. Doggo, Doggy. Okay, is that one straight? Push that corner down. These are all pretty much straight. I think I'm just messing for the sake of messing. It extends the waffle a little bit as well, which is never a bad thing. Uh, Sherry said, and off we go again. Uh, yay. She says, so glad that you're back up and around. Uh, she's completed the National Parks 2 mini set and she has three more sets on the way from Paint Gem. She says, what a lovely find. So much fun to work on. Yeah, I absolutely adore working on them I find them so much fun um, just a, a little a little snack size but some of the detail in them is amazing I mean look that is the lavender is done I think it looks absolutely amazing um, it just looks they just look so detailed when they're done and I can't wait to do some of the artwork pieces as well because I do believe that they're going to show really quite detailed for the size that they are. So this is what we've completed so far. So we have had three different flowers. I've not got any ABs on these. I may or may not decide to put some on there. Um, but somebody hadn't reminded me or prompted me or given me the idea about ABs but I have got some ABs in this one and in this one this one's my favorite with the ABs so far I think I think just the way they've managed to scatter I think sometimes there are pictures that really really suit it and there are some that it doesn't do as well but having said that I do like the ABs in the space one as well so we have four pictures down for June Waffle so far on the 4th. Um, we have many, many more to go. We still have 26. So we haven't even got to, to the point where Advent necessarily, uh, if we're doing a countdown, we haven't got to the point where an Advent would start yet. So there's still plenty of days to join in if you want to join in you don't have to do mini paintings uh, you don't even have to do diamond painting just carve out a little bit of of me time to do your craft and if you want to listen to me waffle while you're doing it all the better uh, but yeah thank you all so much for joining me and for all your lovely comments I will be back tomorrow with more of your comments, questions and more waffling with another mini painting. So I'll speak to you all again soon.